guys, I'm going to show you how to add color to the titles of your tabs here. Alright, so I'm back in my edit mode. What I'm going to do so I can access the coding and change the colors of these backgrounds here is I'm going to go back to my HTML editor and see the code here. Now, I only am going to change the background of my titles, so that's only going to include these uh, three lines here because we have the titles for tab one, two, and three. All right, so the code that I'm going to add is going to start right here because we're going to make it a different style. And we're going to do quote background color colon. And then we're going to go find a color real quick in Google Slides. All right, so I've just opened up my Google slide real quick. I'm just going to click on the text here so that I can access my colors. And I'm going to go to custom. I'll zoom in real quick. And you can see up here, here is the code that I'm going to grab to create a color background. So I'm going to choose whatever color that I want. I'm going to kind of go with this minty color. And I'm going to copy the whole thing. And then I'm going to go back to my uh, HTML editor here and place the color and do a semicolon and uh, finish the quotation. And now we're going to check to see if it worked in the preview setting by clicking this HTML editor over here. And you'll see that it worked. So now I'm going to just click save and we're going to see it uh, and what like the kids would preview. So yay, now my color um, tab is right there and I can go back if I want and change this. I can make them all the same color. I can change the color. Uh, so let's go back and do that real quick. All right, once again, we're going to start right after the LI. We're going to write style equals quotation back round da oops, dash color colon and I'm going to go pick a color real quick. All right, I picked my color for the next one. We're going to do semicolon quotation and we finished our code here. I'm going to do it one more time down below. Style equals quotation background dash color colon. I've already picked out another color quickly behind the scenes. And there you go. Let's preview this real quick. Oh, I must have done something wrong. Oh, I see what I did wrong. I added a colon. You always need to make sure that you check your code because sometimes if you make a mistake, it won't show up. There we go. So now I have all my colors. We are going to click save, and then now we can see that I've created tabs with color. Let me know if you guys have any questions, okay? Thanks!